It's a beautiful day. What if we went and filmed something? Well, would you look at that? We have a software update and there's nothing in it. Wonder which one it is. Let's see here. Software update 32.2. I wonder what's supposed to be in there because it doesn't look like there's anything in it to me. What if there's other stuff in there that we didn't know about? Well, I guess we'll find out. So by now you figured out that we're gonna do a what if video today. So I've got a whole list of stuff we're gonna go through. Hopefully we get through all of it. There's a lot on that list. We're gonna start things off with a question that's been going on for quite a while. People have been asking me since the first one and I'm finally gonna do it. Try to find a safe road. How fast can you go in reverse? I gotta admit, I was kind of freaking out when I saw the software update. I thought it might've been version nine of the software. You know, that, that, that did pop in my head, but I remember he said it wasn't coming out to the end of September, which Elon time probably means Christmas, but that one is gonna be exciting. So we're on this road, it's kind of a closed off road. We're gonna go in reverse here. I'm gonna look in the camera and we're gonna see how fast we can go. I don't think we can go very fast. So you can see, I got it floored. 15 miles an hour. 15 miles an hour is all it lets it go. I didn't think it was gonna be a drastic huge number that it would they would let you drive in reverse. It is kind of dangerous to be driving fast in reverse. It's very easy to actually hit something because so what if you went in reverse? How fast can you go? There you go. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Keeping in the theme of reverse, next what if? What if you're an autopilot? You can go reverse in autopilot. I'm gonna say no, because all the cameras are facing forward. But we're gonna try it. What if they let you go backwards in autopilot? Now we're going in reverse. There's no lines on this road, so it's not gonna let you go in autopilot, but, but you see here, you can't even put it in cruise control in reverse, so you're not gonna be able to do it in autopilot either. All the cameras are facing forward except for the rear camera, but I don't think that actually does anything for autopilot anyway, so uh, I'm gonna say busted. Autopilot does not work in reverse. You should be ashamed of yourself for asking that question. Is there a way to turn off the passenger side air vent? What if there's a button hiding somewhere? What do you do? You pull up the vents and you can move them wherever you want to. And they do adjust. They don't go away. You can't actually turn off the passenger side air uh, vent. The only thing you can do is unsync them. You just get the temperature you want on your side. There's no way to shut off that side because there's two air vents coming up from the middle and then they branch out. So it's, there's no baffle in there to turn off one side or the other. So it is just completely on or off the whole system. Maybe in a software update, they're gonna allow that, but I don't see, after taking the dash off, I don't see a way to actually do that. But what if they did? I don't know how they would do that. Question, what if you don't close the door all the way, but you walk away, your Bluetooth connection from your phone gets cut off from the car, so the car wants to lock, what happens? What if you do that? Does it make a noise? Does your phone vibrate? Does your Apple Watch vibrate? Does the car send a signal to your brain? Uh, what happens? We're gonna do just that. We're gonna close the door just a little bit. You see it's, it's cracked open, the window's open. Sorry, it's really windy over here. But we're gonna walk. This is pretty far. It should have locked by now. You don't hear the beep. You don't see the mirrors folding in. It should have made a sound or told you something. I think that's gonna be a, addressed. I mean, we're far enough away. It should have actually locked by now. We're gonna walk back up to it. So, I mean, the good thing is that they added that beep when you, walk, when you lock the door or when the door locks, it beeps to let you know. You're listening for that as you walk away. You should hear that, hey, it didn't beep. And then you look back and you can see that the mirrors aren't folded in then you know something's wrong. So for now, make sure that you hear the beep when you walk away. If you don't hear the beep, look back, look for your mirrors, see if they're folded in to let you know that the car is locked up. Eventually that'll be a software update fix where if the door is open or something like that, it'll beep to let you know. I didn't get a message on my phone or my watch, so make sure you pay attention to the car as you walk away, because so otherwise someone can just get right in. I just thought of this, what if? Let's actually test that. What if on the fly? You saw me walk all the way down there and the door wasn't closed all the way. Is the car still unlocked? What if the phone's far enough away? Can anybody just get in the car? Let's test it out. We're walking away from the car. By now should have locked, although the door, the door is actually open. Sorry for the wind again, but we're far enough away. I'm, a, I'm setting the camera down here. I'm gonna walk back over to the car and see if the door opens up. And don't stare at my ass while I'm walking.
Now that's not good news. I was hoping that it was actually latch or something like that or beep at least. I was hoping that the, the horn would sound because the phone is not connected there. So hopefully they fix that. What if the Tesla guys actually watch this? What if you're on autopilot and you go to change lanes? We're in autopilot now, following this car and truck. What if you go to change lanes and someone's there? Does the car do anything? Does it stop? Does it, what does it do? So right here, there's a car coming up in my mirror. I'm gonna wait till it's right next to me and put the turn signal on. I put the turn signal on, it saw that the car was there and it's tried to speed up a little bit and it won't go over. It wouldn't go over because the car was there. It, it started to move over and then it cut back over because it, it saw the car there. The turn signal actually timed out so it wouldn't actually let me go back over even once it was clear. What if there's a car there? It doesn't go because it sees it. That's why there's so many cameras and sensors around this car. Just like any person, it doesn't really want to get hit. Well, most people, there's MMA fighters, they kind of want to get hit. What if I'm driving down the road and I let off on the accelerator pedal and I start to regen, do the brakes come on to let people know that I'm slowing down? Well, I'm going down a hill right now, so this is gonna be nice. And the brakes on the screen come on. Sorry for the shaky camera here. I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> minimize that. But the brakes come on. When you go in a certain speed, they come on. I'll try it again. See how they, uh, the tail lights come on as well to let people know that you're slowing down hard. If you barely let off the accelerator pedal and say you're regening a little bit, uh, the brake lights don't come on, nothing comes on because you're just slowing down. So that's one nice thing about the Tesla. What if you go to Lowe's? Not sponsored, but could be. What if you pick up some eight foot oak boards? Do they fit? Along with some other stuff, there's plenty of room. You drop the seats and you can actually fit eight feet without, without touching the screen without them actually hitting the screen at all. You have plenty of room for one by sixes, one by eights. Uh, this happens to be oak. Go to Lowe's, pick up stuff. Pick up lumber in your Model 3, but be careful, lay stuff down so you protect things. Like I got a microfiber so it's not touching the center console. What if you got something good out of the video? Well, I would love it if you took a look at my Patreon page. Consider supporting the channel by any of the tiers on there. What if I got 500 people of my 12,000 subscribers to sign up for Patreon? That'd be amazing. But honestly, thank you for all the people that have signed up for my Patreon already. You guys are awesome and you know who you are. But what if you're in the market for a Model S, Model X, or P3D? We'll use my referral code, blah, 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 blah. The information's down below. As always, guys, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all the great comments. And if you think I missed something or you want to see one, put your what if down below in the comment section and I will add it to the list. And maybe you'll see it come on the next what if. What if you got to see your question answered? Would you freak out? Would you do a little ditty? Make a little noise? Get down tonight?